Prescott Van Meyer the third sommelier from home. Today, another episode in our Malort mixology and in getting in the spirit of Valentine's Day, which is soon upon us, Malort infused chocolate covered strawberries. Now I know I've been taking a little bit of a break from Malort, but uh, this is a special occasion. That lovely day, Valentine's Day, where we express our love with our partners, if you have one. And if you don't, you find a substitute. And that for me has been good old Malort. Malort really does remind me of my previous partners. <laughs> Starts off sweet, and then that bitterness really kicks in. Is Malort disappointed in me? Probably. Does Malort badmouth me to all her friends and family? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> As someone who is a bit of an authority on failed marriages, I would say if you feel like your marriage is on its last legs and you want to just put that straw on, it breaks the camel's back, this might be a perfect recipe for you. This can be the point of no return. You don't have to sleep with a coworker or your personal trainer. And I almost forgot, keep an eye out because there is a special Valentine's Day episode that will be coming out. I think you're gonna like it. Whole new side of Prescott. All right, let's open up this can of worms. In this case, can of strawberries. And get to it. The strawberries have added a very delicate boutique. Dalton, I said boutique, so make sure we edit that out. It's bouquet. It just really got to me. <coughs> Tastes like those strawberries have been bathing in melted tires and some roadkill. So, strawberries have really been taking that roadkill and scrubbing their armpits out. I imagine this is what strawberry stuffed jock straps taste like after a full lacrosse tournament weekend. Let's try it again. Oh. oh, I see darkness. So the strawberries did impart some flavor on the Malort and it didn't help anything. It's just strawberries and death. All right, so we're gonna microwave this. All right, that is nice and smooth ready for strawberries to be dipped in. I'm not the greatest chocolatier, but I will try my best to make this look good. Doop. Treating these strawberries like Augustus Gloop. Uh, wasn't he a toxic piece of shit? I'm telling you, these are, uh, these aren't looking half bad. We're gonna put these in the fridge and let them chill for just a few minutes. Well, these are actually looking mighty good, if I do say so myself. So, here we are. All right, well, let's give it a taste. I'm gonna choose the strawberry that has the most chocolate. Alert and few strawberries dipped in chocolate. Hmm. The death is subtle, but it is there. It does haunt the strawberries a little bit, giving it a very intense metallic flavor. Ooh. Mm. Not too overpowering with the Malort. Might go 48 hours on the infusing if you want to do that. But still, the Malort infused through the strawberry, not too bad. Making it uh, an interesting little strawberry. A bitter, lonely, sad strawberry. So this might not actually cause the inevitable divorce, but it might be planting the seed. Well, I, I guess there's really only one way to really maximize the experience. Dip it in there. Ugh. The chocolate really tricks your brain and I think you're eating some sweet. So dip it in that. Ooh. That, yeah, yeah. Mm. Boy, that sweet chocolate and then that Malort. It's like a couple. One of them's arguing. One of them doesn't know they're in an argument yet. It's gonna get ugly though. And quick. All because they couldn't figure out where to go eat. Yes, Paul, you should have made reservations. It's Valentine's Day. But honey, I saw the TGI Friday's parking lot was basically empty. They're doing heart-shaped jalapeno poppers this year. Well, hope that works out for you, Paul. Next year, might I recommend Bing Table? That's right, the reservation service through Bing. No one's using it, so there's lots of tables available. And like all Bing services, your first three uses are free, especially for restaurants that are two stars and below. Bing specializes in those. Happy Valentine's Day, Bing. 
you know I love you. And stay tuned for my special Valentine's Day episode upcoming. And on Valentine's Day itself, I may go live if I can find a good neighborhood with Wi-Fi.